Pride Toronto delivered an evening of food, entertainment, and over-the-top glamour at its annual Pride Gala and Awards Ceremony as part of Toronto Pride Week. Darling, it's fabulous, it's festive. Hosted by comedian Trey Anthony, the formal affair at Toronto's Carlew Banquet Hall paid tribute to individuals and groups who have made a positive difference in Toronto's queer communities. Donning suits, ties, and sparkling gowns, guests arrived on a traditional red carpet. Here's what some of the night's award winners had to say. What do you think is the single most important human rights issue right now? Um, I think the most important one is being, for us at the OPS, is being out at work. When I first joined the government 12 years ago, um, I wasn't as out at work as I would, should have been, I think. How do you see arts and culture reflected in the queer community? I think that both artists and queers are searching for their own voice in society. They're searching for uh, opportunities to live out their identity, uh, to live out, uh, in, 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 in essence, who they are. Looking back on your career, what's your fondest memory? You know my favorite story with Mel Lastman? So when the Bijou was raided, there's all this talk in the newspaper about um, glory holes. So during a council meeting, he pulled me over at his desk and said, Kyle, what's a glory hole? So I had to explain a glory hole is where you stick your cock through a hole and someone sucks it but you don't know who it is. And he went, how much does that cost? And I said, it costs nothing, it's for free, we like doing it. And he went, ooh, I said, oh, come on, who doesn't like their cock being sucked? He said, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> educating Toronto's politicians. I call it, what, those six years with Mel, I call educating Rita. <laughs> Why did you win the sports award? Well, it's not because I'm such a jock. Uh, my business partner, Dean Nelson, and I, who produced uh, the Gay Ski Week and Whistler Winter Pride, uh, last year joined the 2010 Winter Games. We produced Pride House, which was the first ever LGBT Olympic pavilion in history. So you're not an athlete, but you still managed to win a sports award in your lifetime. Well, exactly. And that's the first. I never thought that, you know, I would be winning a sports award. How does it feel to be here tonight? I've never been to this place. It's a nice place. Uh, nice to be wearing a suit for once just for the fun of it. I feel like I'm in drag. You give us a hint on how you will be marching in the Pride Parade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let man. Probably one foot in front of the other. Join with me in thunderous, never complacent applause for the always provocative winners of the Pride Toronto Theme Awards, Todd Clink and Amanda Goodhardy. Good handy. Good handy. Good handy. Good handy. Good handy. Former Education Minister Kathleen Wynne was there to talk about the importance of tackling homophobia in schools. I'm 57 years old and I don't really mind what's said about me, I don't really mind what's said about our government, but I really care that four-year-olds who go into kindergarten who have two moms or two dads aren't discriminated against. I really care that kids in our secondary schools aren't bullied. Also spotted in the crowd was Toronto TTC Chair Adam Jambroni, who dropped a hint as to what this year's TTC bus will look like in the Pride Parade. It has a 3D um, image. And never one to shy away from controversy, fiddler Ashley McIsaac expressed his position surrounding the activist group Queers Against Israeli Apartheid. One month before the festival, Pride Toronto told the activist group that it would not be allowed to march at Pride under the banner Israeli Apartheid. Pride Toronto later reversed the ban. I, what's on my mind is the, the politics surrounding Pride this year. What do you think of the politics of Pride this year? Well, I thought Pride was about gay pride. That's simple as I can put it. I'm uh, very politically motivated about a lot of stuff, particularly war and peace and love and all those things. So the whole issue that was around the, right? That's, you know, McIsaac is a Jewish name. So I could pick one side that way, but I'm actually very pro-Palestine. But if I was gay, they wouldn't let me hang out in Palestine. So I'm for nobody protesting unless it has to do with gay rights. And the gay rights that the Palestinians have are negligible. And in that case, I would have taken the side of the Israeli and not wanted a boycott of Israel in it. 2010 marks Pride's 30th anniversary. The theme this year is You Belong. The festival runs until July 4th. For a complete list of Pride Toronto's parties and events, check out www.pridetoronto.com. For Extra.ca, I'm Michael Piak.